This is an official live stream of the CNCF and as such is subject to the CNCF Code of Conduct. Please do not add anything to the chat or questions that would be in violation of that Code of Conduct. Basically, be respectful of all your fellow participants and presenters. Welcome to the CNC Face-Off and here is our host, the very luscious Maddie Stratton. All right, welcome to round one of CNC Face-Off. This is a live streamed game show featuring two teams facing off, get it, uh, to compete to see who will eventually rise to the top of the bracket and be awarded the coveted CNC Faceoff Cup. We are really excited to, to be kicking off today. Uh, thank you for joining us. As we're going to go, we're going to get started. And uh, first, though, let's uh, go ahead. And we've got two different teams. So our first team will introduce each player as they come up. But we have the Rogues Gallery versus the Contrib X Sig. And and our first face-off is going to be uh, is going to feature Cat Cosgrove facing off against Laura Santa Maria. So uh, contestants, go ahead, get your hands on your buzzers. But remember, what's going to happen is we have pulled hundreds of uh, technologists, engineers, developers out there in the CNCF ecosystem to get their answers to some popular questions. And our contestants are going to have to try to guess what they think the most popular responses were. So if we're ready, uh, players, are you ready? You have your hands on your buzzers. Ready? Let's go ahead and we're about to start that first face off. And uh, producer ready, Paul, ready. let's get us started. Okay, so contestants, the question is, name a reason someone would give for not backing up their laptop. And the buzzer, the first buzz in was Cat. Cat, give me a reason someone would give for not backing up their laptop. Laziness. Show me laziness. Laziness, nice. the number one answer on the nice. board. Well, <laughs> nice. so that means Good that the job, Rose Gallery takes control and we'll move along. But before we go into that, uh, Kat, let's, let's get to know Kat a little bit here. Uh, so, Kat, you're joining us. I understand that you are quite the expert in um, Docker Shim. So, uh, can you explain uh, Docker Shim to me in five words or less? A big, a big pain for me. Sounds fantastic. There you go. All right. Yeah. So, uh, We'll go ahead. Our, our, our first, uh, we're moving down the line here. Uh, I want you to imagine that our players are lined up and I'm kind of walking along and I'm going to sidle up next to uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tim Banks. So Tim, uh, I uh, love, love to have you on the show here. Thanks for joining us. Um, oh, my pleasure. My pleasure, man. I, I understand that uh, one of your hobbies is uh, getting mad at people for putting beans in chili. Uh, can you tell me more about this? Well, I mean, yeah, because I mean, you have chili and then when you put beans in it, it ceases to be chili. It becomes something else. Um, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's not just beanie beets stew, Yeah. Like Yankee bean stew. I don't know, like new England bean chowder maybe. Um, but it's definitely not chili anymore. So chili with beans is monitoring and proper chili is observability. Maybe. Correct. Correct. All right, Tim. <laughs> or maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> All I know is the text and approved. Chili with beans okay. is a DevOps engineer. There we go. Whoa. Right. Okay. Okay, Tim. Show me. Tell me a reason someone might give for not backing up their laptop. Forgetfulness. Show me forgetfulness. Forgetfulness is not on the board. Oh, on. Sorry to say, sorry to say, but that's okay. So Rogues Gallery, you have a one strike right now. Let's move on down to our, our third player on the team, uh, Mr. Uh, Rich Burroughs. So Rich, uh, how are you doing today? I'm good, Maddie. Uh, your hair is fantastic. Your beard is fantastic. Can you, can you well, give me you. Your, your number one uh, beard care tip? Um, get a great barber. Get a great barber. Uh, this is uh, so basically hire your way to great, uh, great beer, beard, or hire your way to great beer. I don't know. Either either way kind of works out pretty, pretty fine. Um, okay. So, Rich, uh, can you tell me a reason someone might give for not backing up their laptop? My data is all in the cloud. Show me it's all in the cloud. So, who cares? 
All right. Ah, there Boom. we go. Picked one up. Picked one up. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The board is yours. Give me a reason someone would give for not backing up their laptop. I don't care. I just don't care. Survey says. <laughs> Ah, uh, does, okay. Dice. Rogues Gallery's got two strikes. Tim, it's on you, man. Give me another reason someone would give for not backing up their laptop. Uh, let's go with there's nothing important on there. Show me nothing important. Very well. Nice. Boom. Data is not important. Okay, Rich, give me a reason someone would give for not backing up their laptop. GitOps. GitOps. Show me GitOps. <laughs> And as oh. always, GitOps is a big strike. Okay. All right, Contribex, this is your chance to steal. So our Contribex folks uh, don't uh, have the opportunity to give one answer. And if that answer they come up with is one of the two remaining choices of these hundreds upon hundreds of developers we surveyed, they will steal and they will get all the points. So uh, Kaslin, you are the team captain. Um who we haven't yeah, introduced so we yet, can, but we can discuss this though, right? Yes, discuss it amongst yourselves. Yeah. So Rogues Gallery. My, or sorry. Yeah, uh, my suggestion is is some variation on too slow. The backup was too slow. I, I was thinking network failure. Something like I that. was gonna say no network. Okay. <laughs> All right. it's, what's your what's if your it's like a work laptop where you're not allowed to connect to the internet? Mm. That would be a problem. So what do y'all think? What do you like? So too slow or no network? Which one do we want to go with? There's also don't know how. We haven't said that mm, yet. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh. I, I, I could go with that one. Yeah, that's actually probably, that's a good one. All right. Okay. What's your answer is? It. Which is what? Okay. okay. We, we're all going for it, right? Yep. Yes. Yep. Do okay. it. Yep. What's the answer? So our, the yeah. answer from Team Sig Contrib X is don't know how. Show me I don't know how to do it. And Contrib yeah. X steals. Woo! So the points go to Contrib X. Excellent, excellent. Uh, we uh, we didn't get a chance to, to meet, but we'll we'll get you another play. But let's uh, our next two uh, players entering the face-off. Don't you, uh, don't you get a reveal five? Oh yeah, let's see what, what's what number five. A pure hatred a pure for hatred. all that is good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good okay. Game. Okay, yeah, I don't sure. think I would have guessed that one. Wait, I, I have said, questions I about this audience ops. that you pulled. <laughs> <laughs> I said get ops. I think that applies. <laughs> Ooh, Judges' decisions yeah. are final, Rich. Uh, next up in the face-off is uh, going to be uh, Tim Banks facing off against uh, Kaslin Fields. No, against Laura Sandmer. Wait, who's next, Paul? It's Kaslin. Kaslin. It's Kaslin. Kaslin. That's right. You're I'm correct sorry. the first time. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So, uh, Kaslin, before we, before we jump in... Um, so, you know, you're part of Team Contrib X here. Uh, what is the uh, one thing that you feel could be done to make the contributing experience worse to cloud native uh, technologies? Worse? <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't oh, we wow. tried everything? <laughs> We've tried a lot. It's, hmm. Um, we could get rid of the, the contributor help pages in the website. I think that would make it really hard. It'd be a lot easier to, to update if they didn't exist. All we right. could make the API docs proprietary. There we go. Make them all proprietary. Okay, so Kaslin and Tim, hands on your buzzers. Uh, let's see our next question in the face-off. Name a reason you might not merge a pull request. Tim was our first buzz. Tim, what's a reason you might not merge a pull request? Because it's terrible. Show me it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Survey says, mm. oh, oh, no. Okay, so uh, that means that uh, Contrib X will, will take, take the board. And I believe we will now be starting with Josh. So uh, Josh, show me a, um, tell me a reason that you might not merge a pull request. Can we discuss this? No, this is just you. Which is me. Yeah, yeah. Um, no CLA DCO. Show me did not sign the CLA. Pa paperwork, yeah. Did not do the right paperwork. What do we got? <laughs> Survey says no. Okay, Ooh. that brings us back to Laura. Laura, name a reason you might not merge a pull request. 
I'm going to say doesn't include testing. Does not include testing. Show me tests. Number one yes. answer on the board. Okay. And then that brings us around to Kaslin. Kaslin, what's the reason you might not merge a poll request? Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Took the best one already. I, I don't know about this, this audience you all polled. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I say bad formatting? <laughs> Show me <laughs> like a giant pull request or something. Bad <laughs> formatting. Bad formatting. Survey says tabs versus spaces. We'll take it. Okay. That brings us back to Josh. Josh, give me another reason that you might not merge a pull request. Too busy to review. I am too damn busy. Yep. Survey says <clears throat> no. No. All right. So, Laura, you got two strikes oh, on the geez. board and you still got four answers to reveal. Can you give me a reason you might not merge a pull request? I'm going to say did not pass the CI gate. Like, continuous it's, it's integration not, not failure. Show me continuous yeah. integration failure. Survey says no. Ah, All right. Wow. This is a hard here's, one. Here's your chance to steal, rogues. Okay. So you have one chance to get one of these remaining four answers for a reason you might not merge a pull request. So... Talk amongst yourselves. All right. Mine is that I that we don't like the person who submitted it. <laughs> I mean, we just hate the person. We just hate them personally. Mm -hmm. What about like yeah. uh, it's it's undocumented or I was like say it's, document. no documentation. Yeah, no documentation or it's just like a single uh, a single typo fix from somebody who's clearly just like farming PRs during Hacktoberfest. That might be too specific. You mean like adding use to favor or favor. Yeah. Unnecessarily, obviously. Uh, um, I, I kind of like I kind of like no documentation. Okay. Yeah. I feel I feel I'm all right about documentation. Sure. Okay. Is that your answer? Show me no goddamn documentation. And there Ooh. we go. Rogues Gallery steals. Award them the points, but let's see. What was the number three answer? Not enough beans oh. or gifts. Number five <laughs> reason. It breaks functionality. That is definitely not a reason okay. not to merge, as far as I'm concerned. And as as uh, what is our here. final choice for not to merge a pull request? Revenge. Revenge. Yeah. Close revenge. on that one. Yeah, yeah that, that would have been. I don't like. Don't that. like somebody. That's that's the. That probably would have right. counted. All right. Yeah, look, we've coming all been in, there. Coming into our third third round, there's by the way, there's four four rounds, so we're about halfway through our uh, questions here. So right now, it's a close game. Rogues Gallery is only three points behind. Everything is up in the air. So uh, bringing on down uh, for Contrib X, we will have Josh. And Josh Burkus is going to be facing off against uh, Rich Burroughs. <laughs> and let's go ahead and let's see what question we have. Contestants, hands on the buzzers. Producer. Um. Oh, there we go. What animal do you associate with Kubernetes? I'm just seeing locked for the buzzer. Oh no, you. Oh, uh, yeah. I. I hang on. Um, it says I've disconnected. Let me try to refresh. Oof. If I start playing the Jeopardy theme song, is that bad? I don't know, but right now we've got uh, Josh. Josh and Rich have a little time to think about their answer. Um, while we wait for so the buzz, buzzer to work again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, Comcast. Do not a live stream without technical difficulties. Yeah, no, my That's internet's true. been 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 spotty. Well, we we still uh, have the contest to see who can spot it turning green first and hit the buzzer. There we go. This once Rick once, once you it by comes Comcast up. Okay, internet. wait, wait. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Oh, uh, we might I might have to give you a new key. Listeners or viewers, um, nope. This I oh. Do we want to switch to them doing voice buzzes? <laughs> Whoa! <They're> screaming. <laughs> I feel like it might be hard to tell who's first. <laughs> oh, I, th I think we just well, lost Matt. I was going to say, maybe it should just be whoever's louder. How about whoever's louder answers the question? We can but just Zoom automatically buzzers. ducks audio, so. Oh, that's true. Did yeah. we lose Matt? Is he back? I think we lost I see Matt. Frozen Matt. Static, yeah, yeah, Frozen Matt. 
Wow, F in the chat. So, so our next question is, what happened to Matt's connection? <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, let's good give one. let's yeah. give our top five answers there. Can I get an Paul F decide. in the chat for uh, Matt Stratton's internet connection? F in the chat, Twitch. Sad. We could use that as our buzzer question. Paul decides the best <laughs> answer right. between our so, two. All right, we'll, so we'll, I, oh, we lost him again. I was going to say, I think the reason that he lost internet is the squirrel got his wires. Mm. Uh, he does have a puppy. We... He has a puppy. Oh, there you go. That could yeah. be it. My answer is hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud. That's, uh, may I also yeah. suggest Gitops? Oh, Gitops. there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> Why don't we do the voice buzzers? Wait, wait, how about how about Copilot? I know what happened, right? Yeah, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Copilot. He, he he had to reboot his Infinidash Tiller instance. There we yep. go. Oh yeah, that makes exactly sense. what happened. Yeah, okay. I understand yeah. that. I hate it when you have to do that. We've it all takes been forever. There. You know, but I mean, it's it's you know AWS. What do you mean to? Well, he <laughs> okay, might, he might I be think back. I'm back. Hey, oh, there back. He is. Yay! Okay. Um, but the buzzer might just be totally jazz. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do it live. Okay. So <laughs> contestants, hands on your buzzers. The first one to yell really loud is as who buzzes in. You have to wait till I'm done reading. What do you associate with Kubernetes? Buzz. <laughs> Okay, Josh buzzed in. Okay, that I heard okay. Josh go. Eh. All right, Josh, and my answer is my answer pick? is giraffe. Whoa! Show me giraffe. That okay, hmm. Rich? You've got a chance to steal if you come up with the number one answer on the board for what animal do you associate with Kubernetes? The Rogues Gallery will take control. Wow. Um. <laughs> Kat and I are both making faces. <clears throat> Gopher? Show me ah! Gopher. Don't say it because we're still playing. Show me Gopher. <laughs> oh, oh really? all right. Huh. So uh, then uh, Contrib X will play. Uh -huh. um, I believe our next, uh, that means we start off with Laura. Laura, what animal do you associate with Kubernetes? Give me a goose. Show me a goose. <laughs> Number yes! one answer. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Okay, Kaslin. Now is when it gets hard because there's four more. So, Kaslin, give me an animal that you associate with Kubernetes. Cuttlefish. Show me a cuttlefish. No. Ooh, okay. Darn it. People don't Josh, get it. Josh. <laughs> yeah, it's a good joke. I like it. I like it. Yeah. We'll, we're going to send you home with a prize of a year's supply of rice roni, the San Francisco treat. All right, Josh. Tell me an animal that you people associate with Kubernetes. Okay, well, because people are confused, I'm going to say whale. Show me a whale. Yeah. Number five answer on the board. All right, Laura, we got three more to go. What's an animal that people associate with Kubernetes? I'm going to say an owl. Show <laughs> me owl. No. 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 All right, Josh. Or no, it's Kaslin. 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 Yes. Oof. Uh, oh gosh. You got one strike left. And if you get this wrong, then rogues get a chance to steal. We asked hundreds of developers and engineers, what animal do they associate with Kubernetes? What's your guess? <sighs> so confused that uh, the, the Fippy crew is not in. <laughs> um, since we're not getting any of the others of the Fippy crew, I'm going to go octopus. Show me an octopus. Wow. We All right. We Good got one. two more answers here. All right, Josh. Oh, oh. We got now two it's strikes, like... Okay. Let's There's see. a lot of points on that board. Right, yeah. Kubernetes, Kubernetes, who would... What other very random animals would people pick? Um, Clock is running. You've got five yeah. seconds. Okay. Four, three. Let go with a mouse. Show me a mouse. No. no. Okay, rogues. This is your chance to steal. If you can pick the one of the answers that is correct of what animal people associate with Kubernetes, you will take this round. Mm. What, do you, what do you think about penguin? I uh, I don't object to penguin. I don't. Yeah. They're just. There just aren't that many 
animals that I associate with Kubernetes. Right. Uh, Well, anything anybody says is going to be either like either four or three or two people would say it. So, hey, I'm I'm calling foul because Paul is over here making gestures. Paul, Paul, we can we can all collaborate on this one. It's okay. Paul's not on your team. Paul's not on your team. Oh, that Paul. Sorry. Uh, hmm. Do we have? We can do still we have collaborate. To, we can. Yeah. Is is a squid a thing? Like owl was a no. Mouse yeah. was well, a no. I don't know. I don't know. Would developers di- differentiate between octopus and squid? Uh, I mean, the Argo CD thing is an octopus, right? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Uh, I, still I guess. Kind of feel- <sighs> fuck. There's our one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's go squid. We should, we should end you, in unison. You think you think squid over? Um... I mean, do we? Okay. Do we want to ask the guy who said gopher? That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> uh, no, I could go, I could go I'm with squid rich. or with um or with penguin um due to the you know whole Linux thing maybe a penguin is is more likely. <sighs> Yeah, I feel like maybe. All right, let's do it. We're going to need an answer. Okay, we're going penguin. All right, show me penguin. (laughs) No. All right, so points in this round go to Contrib X. So let's go ahead and give them the points. Let's see, what was the number four answer? Like Animal associated with Kubernetes. A turtle. Turtle. Turtle Oh, yeah, I get that. That's Again, it's a Docker thing. Because it's slow. Oh, all the way down. It's turtles oh. all the way down. All right. Uh, I bet I know what's What's six. number six, though? What's our number six answer? For? Was the narwhal. This is, this is what Paul was Same reason. Doing. He was doing Okay. A... All right. Um, oh. Yeah, I forgot about the other Docker animals. Okay. We've got our final round here. Uh, Rogues, you're going to have to... You're going to have to push this one along. So uh, we're coming back to the face-off. It's going to be Laura versus Kat. Okay. If we're ready, let's go ahead and see what our, is our final question of today's game. What is your favorite programming language? And Kat buzzes in first. Kat, we asked hundreds of developers and engineers, what is their favorite programming language? What was the number one answer? Python. Show me Python. Number yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. So the rogues gallery will play, which brings us to Tim. So Mr. Tim Banks. Uh, what is the most pop? One of the next most popular answers for what is your favorite programming language? Go lay. Show me go. <laughs> Number two answer on the board. Okay, rogues are on their way. Rich, no strikes. You got it. it's wide open. Tell me what an answer might be for what is your favorite programming language? I want to say GitOps, but I don't think that's it. Um, JavaScript. Show me JavaScript. JavaScript. Okay, rogues are in 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 this to win this. Okay, that brings us back to Cat. We got three more to go and three strikes uh, available to us. So, uh, what what's another answer for what is your favorite programming language? Hmm. I don't agree with this, but I'm going to guess Java. Show me Java. <laughs> no. Yeah, good. You know what? Good. Good. <laughs> I'm glad that, that was wrong. <laughs> I'm glad that was wrong. I, good job, developers. <laughs> yeah. to answer it's, no, the survey. it's nobody's favorite. It's, it's nobody's, nobody's favorite. favorite, but some of y'all. Oof. Okay, that brings us to Tim. Tim, you still got two strikes available. You got three answers on the board. What is an answer for your favorite uh, programming language? Go C. Show me C. <laughs> no. All right. This is down to you now, Rich. You're going to have to pull this off here. Uh, there's two strikes available. Um, why don't you go ahead and tell me? Uh, not two strikes available. You got two strikes on you. Uh, what is I wish a, I knew one of these answers program. for your favorite programming language? I wish I knew how to program. That would make this easier. Uh, it's okay. I can't program either, but I still get paid to do it. Ruby. Show me Ruby. Number three. Ooh, answer ah, on the winner. All right. Okay. You got two more to go, Rogues, and you will probably walk away with this thing. So, uh, Kat. Give me another uh, favorite programming language answer. Rust. Show me Rust. And that is the oh, third strike for the rogues. Okay. Really? All right. Okay. So, so we got we got a chance here, and 
I'm thinking we go with either Bash or YAML. So yeah. Sure about, yeah. Mm. Which which one though? Surely there's something else we can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be what's on this. I'm I'm sure not going with SQL. I was actually pretty sure about Rust, to be honest with you. But I yeah. Uh, that was yeah. the one I was kind of banking on. Um, Other things I can think of are like Perl, C Sharp. We didn't say C. We said C++, but we didn't say C. Yeah. Yeah, but this is favorite. Yeah, like favorite. favorite. Really enjoyed yeah. doing yeah, but YAML. in it. <laughs> okay, but what about Bash? I do love Bash personally, but I feel like most people don't think of it as a programming. Like, I can see I, a lot I, of people honest, putting it on the really survey for fun. Language. Yeah. I can see a lot I of mean, people putting it on the survey YAML for fun. A, I could see YAML as a, as going on the survey for fun too. All right, we're gonna Who need is an this answer. Audience? <laughs> yep. So uh, what do we want to go with? It's Kubernetes. Do we want to say YAML, or do we want to do Bash? I could go either way. I like C is stronger. I'm gonna give you about <laughs> thirty then, seconds here, Kinsberg. I don't know. I don't think C is likely if Rust is not on there. Okay. All right. So you want to do YAML because Kubernetes? YAML but people because don't know Kubernetes. That... Let, let's is let's that... just do YAML because Kubernetes. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, that's your I answer. I don't know if it's the language, but let's do it anyway. These we asked people hundreds... said whales and octopuses. Yeah, I know, but let's let's <laughs> okay. just do let's go for it. Why not? All right, we asked hundreds of engineers what is their favorite programming language. Your answer is YAML. Show me YAML. I nope. figured someone was going to say that's not the right language. That's not a which language, means but the rogue gallery takes the points, which brings them ahead, I believe. But let's go ahead and award them those points. And let's take a look now and see what the final remaining answers were. Show me the number five answer for favorite programming language. Excel is that's the number language. six answer. Oh, I love it. It was Excel. <laughs> Show me it. what was the number five answer, though. It was oh, ba ah, yes, I should have gone with Bash. Oh, should have gone with man. Bash. Oh, All right. Sorry. Which brings us to the end of our game. Let's see who our winner was, uh, producers. The Rogues Gallery takes the first round. Game. But don't worry, uh, Contribex, we have some lovely parting gifts. Again, not only will you be going home with a virtual year supply of Rice Roni, the San Francisco treat, uh, we'll also give you the CNCF certification of your choice. Um, this is also the lawyers would like us to say that Paul and I cannot promise any such things and you will not get anything other than our undying appreciation. Uh, thank you everybody uh, for uh, tuning in players. Thank you for being part of this. Um, don't forget uh, to uh, follow us here on Twitch, smash that follow button. Uh, tomorrow we have uh, coming up. We've got search magic with Siam. And uh, while we do uh, CNC face off every other Wednesday, so we'll be back two weeks from now. There are shows Monday through Friday here on uh, CNCF TV. So please come back and uh, thanks everybody for being a part of this, uh, this first show. We'll see you in two weeks for the next round. Bye.